Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Before we start our topic today, uh, one of you, he just asked a question, so I wanted to answer about such a question. In the screen we have Avi saying, please read my Skype message, explain why Yasser Qadi says Allah made the camel out of a rock to prove to the people he was God. Is this is a real story. I mean, my friend, that God, he made a camel out of the rock to prove to the people that he is God. And this God, he do those things only when there's nobody there. Who is the one who witnessed this story? In which book we can find it? Which nation? Where? What is the location name? They don't know. What is the, are they Arab, are they Hindus, are they, who are those people? You know, I mean, this is a stupid story. As we knew, anything happened in this world, or even did not happen. The Muslims, either they fabricate stories, like they're a prophet, or they hijack legions exist before them, like the legion of the sun set in the murky water by Alexander the Great, which is written by a Christian writer in Syria. It's a fiction story. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. The same, he took it from a fiction story and from a Syrian writer, the story of the seven sleepers. And he put it in the Quran. And this is no different story. That there is a group of people, they ask a prophet, his name is Saleh. Okay, you know what? You want us to believe in your God? Make this rock, break it with 10 month baby and let her deliver the camel. And then after they deliver the camel and they start having unlimited milk. Have you ever heard of such a stupid story? Then they, they, they killed the camel. I mean, why in the world a tribe, they have a camel, can give them unlimited liquid of milk? They will kill it. <laughs> so my friend, those stories are stupid. Uh, Muhammad is a legion collector, you know, the same as we showed you yesterday, how Muhammad, he heard the Jewish women saying that the punishment of the grave is because of urine. I mean, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? That there is a God who will punish you because there is urine, hit your foot. This God will not punish you for having sex with six years old child, like Muhammad, but he will punish you for the, having some urine in your foot. Makes sense. This is Islam, my friend. So when the Muslims, they say to us, Allah, he made the camel come out there. Show us where, how, where. <laughs> how come Muhammad, he keeps saying, I have no miracles. How come Muhammad, okay, if we go right now to the Quran, we will see the yellow pages of Muhammad. It says here, like as an example, chapter six, verse number 50. Let us find the verse. Muhammad, even he do not, he cannot answer a simple question. I know nothing of what Allah he have. So why you are a prophet? Look at this verse. See, I tell you not that with me are the treasure of Allah nor do I know what is hiding, nor I do tell you I am an angel, but follow what is revealed to me. Eh, so don't ask me questions. So Muhammad, he claimed that he is just a delivery person. But if you think about it, this is impossible because the Quran is a very stupid book. And giving delivery and leaving without manual is a stupid. It's already stupid. So how you give us a stupid book without explanation? And the funny Muhammad, he gave us verses saying that Allah, he explained the Quran in details. <laughs> where is the details? Okay, as an example, where we can find this guy, his name, Nabi Saleh. Who is this guy Saleh? Who is his father? Where he was born? Which year? Which century? Which land? Where? The Muslims, they see a rock in the desert, they say, oh, this must be the, the rock of Nabi Saleh. <laughs> and here you notice, like, thank you for asking this question, because here the word blind appear again in the Quran. 
and this is our topic for, uh, for today. Muhammad in the Quran, he says that Allah, he guide not the one who is blind. Actually, he seal the heart of those who they are, who know not. Allah, he sealed the heart of the one who know not. Okay, hold on. So, a person who know not about Allah. Allah want to seal his heart for what benefit? And if this is true, then how those people who converted to Islam, they converted to Islam, they know not. In a certain point, they know not. Actually, not only they know not, they were fighting Muhammad. They were against Muhammad. And Muhammad then he conquered them and he forced them to join Islam. So how Allah, he sealed their heart and then they join Islam. In different verse in the Quran, speaking about the blind, chapter 74, verse number 22, and actually chapter 80, verse number, uh, uh, actually chapter 80, verse number one is the one about the blind. Where it says, Abasa wa tawalla in ja'ahul ama. When a blind man he came to him, the Prophet he gave him a face, bad face. Why? Because he's a blind man. Okay, so Muhammad is a person who was sent. He know not the treasure of Allah. He know not what Allah is about. He know not what is hiding. He is not an angel. He follow only what is revealed to me. So was it revealed to you that if a blind man come to you, you give him a face? Muhammad, when he did that, people, they start making fun of him that he is a fraud. He have no ethic. So he made this verse that Allah told me, why you turn your face to the blind man? It's like, you know, uh, it's self, uh, 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 self, what they call it, uh, uh, criticize. So Muhammad now he wanna give himself uh, uh, like a, a, a document that I am sin free. Please, for, you know, like okay, I did that. It was a stupid of me, and Allah told me don't do it again. Do you see it? And the Quran is full of stupid things, proving to us Islam is nothing but a fraud. You know, if you ask Muhammad about Allah, he know not. If you ask him about the unseen, he know not. If you ask him about anything, he know not. Okay, how come then Jesus, he can tell you what you hide in your houses? How come if Muhammad is a prophet and Jesus is a prophet and even Muhammad is higher a prophet according to Muslim from Jesus? Hmm? If we go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, the book of faith. We find this. Chapter 33, verse number 49, the Quran report for us what Jesus can do. What, what? what Jesus can do. And as usual, the Muslims, they claim any miracle happened in the past belong to Allah. So it's confirmed that this is what he can do, but the Muslim, they will say, oh, this is Allah, he gave him the power. Eh, forget about this garbage. I can claim the same. I can say I am the one who gave Jesus the power. Prove me wrong. That is a claim of a fool. But look what happened here. Jesus, and you see here the... the uh, you know, the Muslim, the Muslim they, they point, they put between two bracket things, which is very funny. And appoint him a messenger, who? Jesus. The ch to the children of Israel. Okay? And here you see uh, the first mistake in the Quran. Because if Jesus was a messenger for the children of Israel only, then why the Quran called the book of Jesus Injil? Injil is a Greek word. You know what I mean? The Quran saying that Jesus was sent to the Jews. And who is the one who named the book of Jesus according to the Quran? Allah. Okay. So why Allah, he called the book of Jesus in Jeel? 
I mean, imagine I am an Arab, I am a messenger to the Arab, and then I give my book a name, Indonesian name. Does it make sense to you? But because the stupid Muhammad, he do not know any other name. This is the only name he heard, Injil. He don't even know what the word Injil mean. Look how many times the word Injil repeated in the Quran, tons of times. And why Muhammad is using this word, Aka Allah, instead of using a Hebrew word, as long as Jesus is a messenger to the Jews. If he's a messenger to the Jews, his book should be a Jewish word, Hebrew word, not Injil. Here you see the word gospel. This is a translation for the Arabic in, in, in the Quran, Injil, but this is not an Arabic word. And the funny, the Quran says the Quran is a pure Arabic. Going back here, we will see that Jesus is telling them what he knew, what he can do. Look what he can do. He can make of the clay a living bird. That means Jesus is a creator. But how he is a creator, but he's a prophet. The second you give him ability to create, he is not in the level of a human being nature. He is in the level of God, for only God can create. Look, even in the stupid translation, the fake translation of the Muhammad, and it says, I make for you out of the clay as if it were the figure of a bird and breathe into it who is breathing jesus from the breathe of jesus life come and it become a bird and then they add by the leave of allah but that, that will not change anything you just confirmed that jesus he breathe in inside him independently now he have the power of life he give life and created life cannot give life, my friend. Created life itself cannot give life, unless in a normal way, which God, he made like man and women, they have sexual relationship and then they can reproduce. But to give life by breathing, this is an option only given to the one who is called the creator. Or let us say, this is his own ability. And then Jesus, he healed the blind. How come Muhammad, he kicked out the blind and he will not guide the blind? And I heal the leper and I quicken the dead, what is left, the dead. And I declare to you what you eat. So here you see that Jesus, he knew what is unseen. So why Muhammad, he say, I know not anything about the unseen. How come Muhammad cannot tell us what we hide in our houses as Jesus, he said? Why only Jesus can do those, those things? Those Muslims, they, you know, they are copy paste. They praise Muhammad for too much, too much credit when the, he is the edict of the village. So imagine yourself, you are a prophet standing be, be in the middle of the square and people asking you a question and start saying, you know what, I am just a man. You know, I know nothing about the treasure of Allah, nor I do know what is hiding. And nor I tell you, I am an angel. But look what Jesus says in the Quran. In the same stupid book. I come to you with signs of your Lord. In that I make out of the clay a figure of a bird. So if they say, okay, do, show, do, do it, show us. He would do it. I breathe into it and became a bird. He didn't say I cannot do what God do. And I heal those who they are blind. He cannot say I kick the blind away from my house. The same as what happened to Muhammad when the blind came. And the leper, and I quicken the dead, the dead, even the dead, I will raise them from death. And not only that, I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses. So how come those are signs from Allah given to Jesus, but yet Muhammad, he was not given any of it, not a single one of those signs. Additional to that. Why Muhammad, not only don't have those things, he cannot guide people. You see, if we go in the Quran, we will find additional to chapter 30, verse number 59, many other verses speaking about that Allah guide not those who he deceived. But this is total contradiction of the teaching of Jesus. He says, I, uh, I came for the sick. 
I came for who? For the sick. And the sick here is the one who do not know. The one who do not know. Let us put some verses from the Bible in the screen. Jesus said to them, <laughs> those who they are healthy, they have no need for a physician. <laughs> that makes sense. That is wisdom. That's God. The Quran says, those who they are sick, Allah will make them more sick. Jesus said in Mark 2, 17, well, if I did not come to the sick, I came for who? To the healthy? The healthy do not need a physician. Do not need a doctor. Same in Luke chapter 5, verse number 31. Same in Matthew chapter 9, verse 12. All over the Bible, Jesus confirming that he came for the sick, and that makes sense in, this, in Islam, because Muhammad was a fraud. He says, I did not come for the sick to heal them. I did not come for the one who do not know to guide them. Actually, the Quran go farther and say that Allah guide not those who he misguide. Who is the one who misguide them? Allah. And this is why my book, which translated to many languages, thank to God and to you guys, the help of those good ones who they are helping, is called The Deception of Allah. Read with me carefully, verse after verse after verse, the Quran full of those verses, garbage. Chapter 16, verse number 37. Are you anxious for their guidance? Yet Allah guide not such who have he leave as to astray. This is the Muslim translation saying he leave astray. The fact he says he deceived. Okay, why Allah he leave them astray? Change the translator, and you will see how the, trans the Quran change in a miraculous way. Why? Because Muhammad and they lie when they translate their book. The translation is not meant to be translation. It's meant to be propaganda. Oh, if you, Muhammad, look, we just trans change the translator, and look what happened. We have a new Quran now. Praise to Allah, the deceiver. Every, every Muslim have different version of the Quran. Translation change everything. If you, between two brackets, O Muhammad, S-O-W-A-O-O-O-O-F-M, covet of their guidance, then verily Allah guide not those who he make them go astray. Allah, he made them go astray. Jesus, he came to the sick. Who is the sick? The one he went astray. He is the shepherd. He is a good shepherd. When a sheep go away, he go after the sheep who is lost, not the sheep who is not. Allah is the one who will make you the sheep who is lost. And the verse is in front of you. And this is why it is so clear that Islam is from the devil. I mean, how clear you want it to be more that I am saying to you, I am, my name is Allah, that I am the devil. How, want, how more you want? Before we continue, don't forget we are going to go live in our... A different channel we will be live soon in this account quality of life and the topic today why boyfriend girlfriend is not a healthy lifestyle so if you like to join us uh, maybe the admin can post the link and you can click on it and we will be there right after we finish from here all right there we don't talk about Islam we talk about things have to do with our life our future and right things to do and you don't have to agree with me uh, what I say is based on what I believe not what you do believe, maybe. So as you see, Islam is a stupid book proven to us that the founder of Islam is a fraud. Muhammad, he cannot guide those people. So what is the excuse? Are you going to guide those who Allah misguide? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this? Are you going to this guide those who Allah misguide? Well, I thought Allah He sent messengers to guide those who are misguided. Why Allah is upset from Muhammad, saying to him, "Are you going to guide?" 
<laughs> Someone saying, two Indonesian YouTubers have been reported to the police, accused by insulting Islam. Well, this is what happened in Islamic countries. Because Islam is a fraud, the only way to stop you from exposing Islam to accuse you of insulting Islam. So if you say a word, they report it to the police. So look what our friend he is saying here. Two uh, YouTube YouTubers, this is why you should not reveal your identity if you live in Islamic countries. They will target you, my friend. Do the work and never share your private information. This is Islam, my friend. This is the garbage of Islam, right? So take a note. This is the only way Islam can be surviving is to shut up the mouth of anyone who exposes Islam. But they cannot do that to us. We will expose it. You see, even if I die, I don't care. I have all my books now in many, many languages. Actually, praise the Lord. I just received a message from someone I was waiting for his message for long. I say that praise the Lord again that I received this message. This guy, he speaks many languages. Chinese, Korean, and Chinese, Korean, hold on. Chinese, Korean, there's one more. Asian language. I mean, this guy is a, I mean, and he speak, and he live in Dr. Hino, like he's, he speak French. He, he speak English, talking to me in English. I mean, this guy, he speak at least five languages fluently and in a very good way. So he promised me now he would translate my book into Korean, into Chinese, and I don't know, I forgot the third, the third, the third language he speaks. So, praise the Lord for having those people, for our books will be all over. And actually, I just received messages from people in Ukraine, in Russia, how they are so happy to receive my book for free. And my friend, you see, when you give for free, the Lord, he bless you. I wish I can do everything I do in, in my life for free. But we have to survive. But the Lord, he brings a blessing for us. People coming from everywhere says, I want to translate from India, from everywhere. We want to translate your books. And we will make more books and we will make more videos and we will make this cult be destroyed. As you see, just yesterday, less than 48 hours ago, they took our church, our holy church, and they converted it into mosque in the year 2020. In a country, the stupid European, they were going to make them join European Union. That is Islam, my friend. And they speak about justice and fairness. They take our land, they kick us from our land, and then they convert our churches into mosque, and they claim it's a booty. This is the devil. If it's us who took their mosque, imagine what will happen. This is the same what they did in Al-Aqsa. Al-Aqsa is not a mosque. This is a temple of the Jews, and the Jews should take the Aqsa back, for this is their temple. If the Muslim, they can take our church, which is our church, built by our Christian men, why the Jews cannot take back their temple? This is not built by Muslims. They should have it. And we will. And we will return. And we will take back the Constantinia, for this is our land. Never think that we lost. They did the same in Spain. More than 400 years they stay. Actually, what, 800 years in Spain? 800 years occupying Spain. And the Lord, he gave it back to us. Bulgaria, Romania, Serbia, you name it, and we have it back. We are peaceful, yes, but doesn't mean you can rape our women and take our wives and take our daughters and take our land in the name of your false god. The same as we had Jerusalem after almost a thousand years, we will have more. And we will be victorious, not necessarily by the sword, but by the word. And this is what I'm doing right now. 
and they cannot debate me. They cannot answer me. Look at this filthy God who cannot guide the one who, he will not guide the one who he misguide. I mean, how, what kind of God this God is? He misguide and then he will say, I will send the prophet to guide those who they are misguided. And then the prophet, he go to those who they are misguided and he say to them, Allah, hey Muhammad, are you going to misguide, are you going to guide the one who I made misguide? How, are you stupid? Okay, so Muhammad will guide who? If Muhammad will not will not guide the one who is misguided, Muhammad will guide who the one who is guided. Well, he do not need Muhammad anyway. Already is guided. So this is this verse here proved to us that Islam is made by a fool. Not only it's a stupid. I mean, this guy is officially certified donkey. His name is Muhammad. Actually, I am afraid that donkeys will sue me for calling Muhammad a donkey because donkeys are very smart. Maybe you do not know, I told you the story before. Once we went in the mountains and we went to a villager house and then we want to go hiking in the mountain. We don't know how to come back. So the villager, he says, don't be, before you go, we are just teen, a bunch of teenage. He says, before you go, take with you the donkey. We said, what we would do with the donkey? He said, when you want to go home, just let him go and follow him. And honest to God, the donkey, he took even a shortcut. We were walking for hours. We thought we became so far. The fact we were not going in a circle around ourselves, we do not know the directions. So the donkey, he took a shortcut in less than half hour, 40 minutes, we were home. This is the donkey. Can Muhammad the donkey do the same? Muhammad, he cannot be a donkey for he is way less smart than a donkey. As you see, the donkey can guide you. Muhammad cannot. Are you getting my message? The donkey can guide you, Muhammad cannot guide you. This is why we cannot insult donkey and call him he is like Muhammad. For donkey is useful, number one, peaceful, number two, not harmful, number three, and he don't misguide you, number four. In the top of that, he can guide you and we prove it to you. So Muhammad is not even a qualified in the book of donkeys for his name to be written. So how he can be written in the name of the book of the prophets? A guy who was accused of stealing underwear. A guy who married children. A guy who ripped a woman two parts when she was alive in the age of 85 or almost 90. How this man can be a prophet? And where is his prophecy? One of the funny things Muslims, they say that Muhammad is a prophet. The second you say to them, what is the prophecy of Muhammad? We read it, we die laughing. And here is an example. Who is a Muslim when to tell me a prophecy of his prophet? Any Muslim? Just to show you how in, in two seconds we would die laughing at it. Any, any prophecy. The Muslim, they have thousands and thousands of YouTube speaking about amazing things, science in the Quran, prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. We read them, we die laughing. Anyone? So we will not stay here long because people they are waiting for us in the other channel. Uh, we will go live in the quality of life. If, if you like to join us, uh, let me pause the link for you guys. <clears throat> here we go. We will go live in the other channel if you like to join. And again, the topic there, as you see in the screen, why boyfriend, girlfriend is not a healthy lifestyle. So if you'd like to join us, please feel free to click at the link, invite your friends, post in your Facebook page so we can get more people. It's very important. You know, we live today in a world of politically correct. Everything is politically correct. Nobody, wanna, nobody dare to say the truth. Your kids go to school, they teach them what is wrong. And they are the one who decide what's wrong, what is not. They, they, who the liberals. They decide to your children, they decide to your family. What is the value of the future of your kids? It's not you no more. And it's why you see what's happening in the street. People taking drugs, people are lost, people are misguided. Why? We took God from our life. We took his guidance away. And now we live a lifestyle of do whatever you wish, as you wish. And then we pay for the consequence. So join us, we will be live in the other account. And again, this is the link for those who like to join us. Oh, I think the link is not posting correctly. Hold on. 
Give me a second. All right, this is better. This is the link. Click in it and be there. And we will be live in a few minutes from now in the other account. May the Lord bless you all. And remember, in that channel there, we don't speak about the cult of Muhammad and his garbage. We leave the garbage here. This is the dumpster of Islam. Here we spank Muhammad. We leave our five fingers in his bum. Actually, I don't know how many fingers I left in his bum. To the, to the point there's no more space left. And don't worry. I wash it always. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. And see you soon in the other account. And this is your brother Christian Prince. Wish you a great weekend. Uh, end of the weekend. It's Monday already actually. Uh, one. Uh, what, just I have a question here. A person saying to me. That why you. Uh, like speaking so aggressive about Islam. Why you speaking so aggressive about Islam? You know, my friend, why I should speak not aggressive against Islam? I mean, are you stupid? We just said they took our land, they convert our churches into mosques, they discriminate the Christians, they kidnap our women, they force them to convert to Islam. They force us to pay jizya. They've been ordered to humiliate us. They've been calling us pigs and monkeys and kuffar and filthy and nudges for the last 1400 years. And you want me not to speak aggressive? You must be stupid. Are you blind? Are you deaf? See you in the other account. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And it's now made by the devil. And the devil will defeat. Thank you.